Prime Minister Hun Sen tells Cambodians to prepare to enjoy Khmer New Year. After two years of the Khmer New Year going uncelebrated due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Prime Minister Hun Sen told Cambodians to look forward to this year's Khmer New Year. PM Hun Sen suggests Interior and Public Works Ministries create a telegram group to trace traffic accidents. Prime Minister Hun Sen suggested that the Ministries of Interior and Public Works create a telegram group to trace traffic accidents and violations along the roads. PM says diplomatic relations with South Korea late, but on right track. Prime Minister Hun Sen said this morning said that the diplomatic relations with the Republic of Korea, South Korea, started late, but on the right track. Prime Minister Hun Sen calls for a view of about 70,000 people who were not vaccinated by doctors. Prime Minister Hun Sen has requested a review of more than 70,000 people who have not been vaccinated because doctors did not allow them to be vaccinated. South Korea and Cambodia's ties become stronger. Prime Minister Hun Sen said that ties between South Korea and Cambodia have become stronger as it has given a great deal of assistance to Cambodia. South Korea to build bridge connecting Phnom Penh and Arak Sat. Prime Minister Hun Sen thanked the government of South Korea for its plans to build a bridge over the Mekong River to connect Phnom Penh to the island of Arak Sat. Smash hit. Luxury car in Phnom Penh Pilup. Continuing last year's tradition of expensive luxury cars being involved in spectacular accidents, a Bentley Flying Spur which retails at over $200,000 in the US, was involved in a massive pilup yesterday. Thailand's tourism sector hit hard by COVID-19 as Omicron hits. Thailand's tourism industry is declining again due to the impact of restrictions on entry into the country to prevent the spread of the Omicron virus. COVID cases on the rise in Laos. Cambodia's immediate neighbor, Laos, is seeing a rise in COVID-19 cases. Emerging studies suggest Omicron may less likely cause lung damage compared to previous variants. The idea that Omicron may be a milder variant of COVID-19 seems to be supported by six new studies that emerged since December 24. According to researchers, the Omicron variant seems more likely to infect the throat than the lungs, which appears to make to more infectious but less deadly. WHO. 2022 can mark the end of COVID-19's acute stage. World Health Organization, WHO, Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus, reminded that it was two years ago, as people gathered for New Year's Eve celebrations, that a new global threat emerged. President of the Khmer United National Party. PM's visit to Myanmar will be successful. The president of the Khmer United National Party expressed his confidence that the visit of Prime Minister Hun Sen to Myanmar will be successful due to his experience. Cambodia vaccination rate dragging, while more than 60 Omicron cases reported. Despite health officials continue to plead and urge people to get their COVID-19 vaccine shots, Cambodians are dragging their feet to get inoculated against the deadly virus. ASEAN COVID-19 Table-03 January 2022 ASEAN as a whole has reported more than 14.9 million COVID-19 cases. Of this, more than 560,000 are active cases as of January 03. Nine arrested for organization of illegal demonstration. Authorities recently confirmed the arrest of nine people charged with organizing an illegal demonstration at Nagaworld. Green investment. Drive to protect forests earning millions via carbon credits. Cambodia's drive to preserve its forests is paying dividends not only by ensuring a cleaner environment, but also putting money in the bank through selling carbon credits earned. COVID-19 Omicron variant in Cambodia. Another three infections brings total to 69. Three new Omicron variant of the coronavirus announced yesterday by the Ministry of Health brings the total to 69. 2021 sees nearly 14,000 people were arrested for drug offences, more than four tons of drugs seized. From January 1 to December 31, 2021, law enforcement forces cracked down on 6,242 drug crimes nationwide, detaining 13,765 people, including 802 females. Foreigners accounted for 362 people, of whom 45 were women. Deadly start to 22 with traffic accidents claiming 15 lives and 22 injured.
deadly traffic accidents on Saturday, January 1, 2022, claimed 15 lives with 22 were injured, 18 of whom are in serious condition in traffic accidents across the country. Hun Sen to initiate groundbreaking ceremony for the upgrade of $100 million National Road No. 48 this morning. This morning, Prime Minister Hun Sen is scheduled to preside over the groundbreaking ceremony for the $100 million 148km National Road 48 project in Koh Kong Province. Cambodia vows to strengthen ASEAN's centrality for regional peace, security, prosperity. Cambodia, the incoming chair of ASEAN for 2022, vowed to strengthen ASEAN centrality in order to maintain and uphold peace, security and prosperity, the country's foreign minister Prak Sokhan said. Overseas Vietnamese, including those in Cambodia, plan visit for Lunar New Year, but face uncertainty. Sim Chai, who lives in Cambodia, says he was pleased to hear about the resumption of flights to Vietnam. Push to vaccinate more as Omicron threat grows. Amid Omicron and other variants of the COVID-19 virus, health officials are pushing harder to inoculate more people, and the health ministry is also urging more than 72,000 people who haven't received jabs due to health problems, to consult with doctors again, to study the possibility getting vaccinated. The CCC plans $16 mil 2022 budget. This year the Supreme Court Chamber of the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia, ECCC, will spend $16 million for its work, meanwhile it is expected to announce Q. Samphan's verdict in the fourth trimester of 2022. Bomb blasts will not affect PM's visit to Myanmar this week. Cambodian analysts and diplomats expressed their belief that two bomb blasts near the Cambodian embassy in Myanmar on Friday will not affect the upcoming official visit of Prime Minister Hun Sen this Friday. Cost of net houses discourages organic farming. There are many factors slowing the progress of producing organic vegetables in the kingdom, including the farmer's budget, technical expertise, markets, weather and planning. CPP says the law allows for anyone to be a candidate for PM Prime Minister. In response to comments by former opposition leader Sam Rainsy, the Cambodian People's Party, CPP, said that there is nothing wrong with the party supporting the Prime Minister's choice for a member of his family to be a candidate for the position, as the law does not forbid it. COVID-19, a blessing with low road death cases. The number of people who died in road accidents dropped by 16% last year, that is 2,679 deaths, as compared with 3,176 in 2020. GOVT exempts more than 700 vehicles from import taxes. The Interior Ministry received a New Year's gift from the Council of Ministers, in the form of an exemption for the import tax on more than 700 vehicles with police license plates. Development in Bottom Saker National Park. Koh Kong Provincial Administration is examining a request from Angkor and Niharan Company to invest on 6,145 hectares of land inside Bottom Saker National Park, 